So, uh, good morning. Um, um, my name is Pedro Duarte. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the amazing power of CSS. Uh, CSS is becoming year after year even better. Uh, and what I'll be showing here today uh, are amazing functionalities that we can use to, to empower our, our work. Uh, this example, for instance, uh, it's only an HTML tag and a couple of CSS uh, pseudo classes. Uh, thank you again for, uh, for the Geller uh, works. Um, yeah. No JavaScript. Yeah, as as I said before, I'm Pedro Duarte. I'm very passionate about what I'm doing. I'm a wide developer at Guest Centric Systems, uh, where I build high impact websites and beautiful products for the hotel industry. Um, yeah, and my main focus on on these uh, few years uh, are on. Uh, Accessibility, performance, responsiveness, and of course, scalability. A little bit of my history. Uh, uh, my background is graphic design. Then I jumped to the to the digital area where I started to use uh, uh, w where I started to build websites. And then uh, naturally, I became a Y and UXer. And in the last few years, I'm more focused on on the Y uh, a developer. And I'm here today because I truly love CSS, and this is uh, very huge for me. So at the rest of the presentation, I will be talking about CSS variables, color values, a composite and blending, some clippets and shapes, and of course, CSS functions. And because to keep the, uh, the clock safe, I'll, I'll be not talking about browser supporting and, and so on, but at the end of the day, I'll be sharing the slides with you, so uh, with all the references uh, for you can see. So, CSS variables, uh, or the most known uh, CSS custom properties. Uh, they are a big win for the front-end developers because it brings the power of variables to, to, uh, to the CSS which results uh, in less repetition, a better readability, and more flexibility of our, our, our code. Of course, if you are used to use preprocessors, uh, uh, CSS preprocessors, we are used to use variables, uh, uh, preprocessors like SAS or LESS or to whatever you may like. Uh, um, but the huge difference is because the, these variables, they are static. Uh, right? Uh, they do not run on the browser, uh, uh, at the DOM, they don't know anything about uh, the DOM tree, uh, and uh, that's why the CSS custom properties are huge, because um, they can, we can define them loc uh, globally and locally, uh, uh, and, then, and they are fully dynamic. Um, to, to declare a CSS variable, uh, we we need to use the two dashes in the custom name property and then the value uh, uh, to uh, to look, uh, to declare it v uh, globally. You should define it on 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 the root element, and then to uh, to uh, uh, to call that uh, that variable, uh, we just need to use the var function and then again the two dashes and the custom name. And because CSS properties are cascade as well, we can uh, declare them locally, which means if you know that uh, uh, a custom property will be only used on, on, the, on, the, on, on a specific area of our product, of our website, we, we may need to, add, add, add to declare it on, on that, on that uh, local only. And again, because they are uh, they are cascade, we can change the value as well. If you declare the uh, value on the root, we can then uh, um, redeclare that, uh, that value is inside uh, the new element. And we can make those values even more dynamic, which means using uh, the calc function, 
uh, we can mix uh, 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 an, an amount of, of values and, and CSS properties uh, doing its summarizing. And, and he's where things get in, 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 in interesting about CSS custom properties. It's because uh, they can be uh, manipulated through JavaScript uh, direct on browser. Right? We can change uh, the value of this custom property uh, through JavaScript using the, um, uh, the get property value and, 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 and the set property uh, methods. In, in this case, in this example, uh, let me check. No, it's not working. <coughs> in this example, we, we have changed the, uh, the main color to, to aqua. And yeah, then we do it an alert. So this um, is a pretty simple example uh, uh, how custom properties work. We can change the uh, the values of that custom properties on on uh, the queries, and then on a, on an event click we we can change the color of uh, that value again. And this is happens. Awesome because these work directly on the browser. So advantages advantages by using uh, CSS custom properties is of it, it's of course the support on the browser. Uh, they are cascaded as I told you before. We can create extremely dynamic values uh, of these custom properties and the JavaScript manipulation. <coughs> we cannot use them on selectors or media queries expressions, uh, or you cannot link them to values. The CSS custom properties are only a value itself. If, if you want to mix the, uh, the custom proper value with, with, with another value, we may need to use uh, the calc function. Color values. The CSS color, it's, it's about to get interesting because on the CSS color module level four uh, uh, made by the CSS group, uh, introduce new color spaces that will let us to, uh, to change how we blend colors. And uh, the one is uh, we are used to use the, uh, the three and the six uh, digit uh, hexadecimal uh, notation and these new uh, color mode about the four and the eight uh, digit ex notation. It's regarding the alpha channel. The two uh, 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 the two last digits. That's uh, that's where uh, our transparency uh, uh, looks like. So here too, uh, we can uh, the uh, the color value to accept. Uh, at, at the range from zero zero to FF, but rather than the channel it, I th density, this value indicates uh, 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 a transparency, which means the zero zero is fully a transparency, and the FF it's fully opaque. In this demo, um, I have changed. I don't, I don't know if you, yeah, if you. Can see or not, but uh, but the video actually uh, they are been changing between those uh, those values there, which means uh, full full opaque, a uh, fifty percent of of uh, of uh, transparency, and then at uh, ten percent. Advantages, uh, of course, hexadecimal colors they are quick to write, especially when we use the shorthand. And this is very e easy, and and they are identifiable at at the first glance because of a consistency uh, on the notation. Because if you are using to use RGBA notation, then mixing with hexadecimal notation could could be hard at 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 the long run to, to identify uh, those uh, those values. The most disadvantage is how can we calculate that last uh, uh, two, two digits uh, um, 
regarding the alpha. For that, I truly recommend to you to use uh, a quick table where you can go and, and choose the, the, the other right ones. This uh, the evolution of the CSS uh, keeps providing m more and more ways to help us to make creative decisions uh, directly on the, on the, on the browser. Um, and because today tools, we can make image manipulation uh, uh, like we are used to doing Photoshop or Sketch, for example, at the blend modes. While compositing means uh, combining two or more elements into one, uh, like compositing an image with its uh, backdrop, the, uh, the, uh, the blending is a form of compositing uh, that calculates the mixed colors whenever an element is overlapping areas. So and now from now on, what you'll be seeing on, on my demos, uh, it, it will be uh, uh, how can we build the landing page using uh, several uh, CSS properties uh, that, uh, that, I, uh, that I'll be, be showing. So I have built here a very simple uh, a linear gradient background could be a gradient or wherever I choose the gradient. And then uh, I have added an image to, to, to the same element. Could be an, an image or, or another gradient or uh, just a solid color. And then I just applied at the background blend mode to multiply just to have a this, a this, a this effect. You can easily preview at the, back, at the background blend mode result uh, by changing it, uh, uh, at its value on the browser. Uh, you may know or notice already that, that uh, those values are similar to, to the ones we are used to use in Photoshop or Sketch. Uh, the multiply effect, the screen mode, the overlay, and a bunch more. So uh, let's uh, let's hear to the to the to the uh, to the blend mode multiply, um, and I just flipped uh, the image to have more white space on on our left side. And for that, I, I apply this Kalex transform to flip the uh, the image. And then I've inserted another image into the layout, uh, uh, and let's try to, 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 um, to make it work applying some uh, mixed blend mode. I applied the mixed blend mode to multiply, uh, and then add, but, but that's the result. And because it doesn't look, and because it doesn't look good, we will need to use another CSS property to apply has some filters, and uh, the filters, uh, the filters, uh, 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 for me they are actually like the steroids of image on on the web because we can do uh, uh, lots of stuff uh, uh, with the to, with the filters. For who may don't know the the uh, the filters property, they they are actually uh, or or originate by the SVG specification. Uh, yeah, and, and, but that's it. With the filters, we can create uh, very good effects, as, as I told you. And uh, in, introducing here uh, the backdrop filter for whom we don't know, this, uh, this property is in ink permutation, but well, but, uh, uh, but it gives us uh, a power to enhance the quality of of our, our work, and uh, that's why I'll be I'll be shown here today. So, to make that uh, that background uh, more white, and because I'm a designer and I know that to have the background more white, I need to do more brightness and contrast to uh, to the image, and that's what I did. I just applied the filter uh, brightness and contrast, we can add various filters 
in the same property to get the other result we, we want. The backdrop filter, as I told you in the, the beginning, is, a, is, a, is an experiment a technological uh, a, a technology, uh, and basically it gives the effect on, on, the, um, on the background uh, uh, where it's shown. I don't know if you can see, but, uh, but the pink uh, uh, the pink color is, is actually applying uh, a contrast to blur and a you rotate to that color. Advantages, advantages by using uh, the filters is, of course, uh, the aesthetics on the web, because as, as I told you in the beginning, uh, uh, we can do pretty much cool things uh, using filters on our images. Uh, regarding performance, uh, uh, it's very nice because uh, uh, the browser renders first the layout and the, and the initial painting and then applies the filter. So it doesn't hurt to on the browser, actually. So it's very nice. And, and of course, uh, the flexibility of using the, the, the properties and, and the values, it's very nice. The most disadvantages by using these, uh, these filters are actually a the browser support because uh, uh, they are not fully standard yet. So you can use uh, 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 some filter on, on, on Chrome, for instance, with a value and, and that same property on, on Safari or, or Mozilla or, or wherever cannot be exactly the same. So, and, 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 and of course, you may need to use it by, by, by the vendor prefixes uh, to, the, to, to the browser. Well, the shapes. Uh, square and rectangles are pretty easy, right? Uh, uh, as they are natural shapes on the web. But the shapes provide the whole new way how we set the, uh, the, uh, the content uh, uh, at, at two flows on the page. The, sh uh, the shape outside property, it's, 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 it's actually kind of new and it's pretty amazing because the letters to, to define a shape. Uh, it could be a, a circle, a, a, a polygon, and an ellipse, and, and it is very, very, very nice. So here, the shapes. Uh, the shapes, first of all, only, only work with, with, with floated elements, which means you, you have to have a float left or a float right uh, on, on, on the element. Um, yeah. And in, in this scenario, of, of course, uh, we have we have applied uh, the float uh, uh, the float left on the element at uh, the shape outside it is a circle to have the shape of 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 the element and then apply the shape margin of 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 10 pixels but could be whatever you you may need so advantages uh, by using is of course uh, the the dynamic reflow of 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 the text. Uh, if you if if you'll be using instead of the circle function, if you are using the polygon custom points, we can reuse those values for SVGs or or clipping pads because the points are 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 the, are, are are the same and 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 the margin control of that elements. Uh, the clip path CSS property creates a clip region that uh, uh, that sets what part of an element sh uh, should be shown, and uh, but the spec states CSS masking provides two means for partially or fully hiding portions of visual elements: uh, masking and clipping. Uh, parts that, uh, that are inside of the region are, sh are shown, while the others, of course, they are hidden. 
So we can create a plenty of creative vtex effects with a clipped property, and some of them qu quite simple. Uh, uh, again, and here uh, by applying a polygon, we can create this trendy uh, slanted hue effect uh, uh, that is nothing new, but uh, but actually we are used. To, uh, to see it working with SVGs or 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 or, or an image, we can we can use again uh, the value of the URL, and this is pretty handsome because uh, using using the URL function of of the, of the property, uh, we can actually on on the markup set the uh, the uh, uh, the path of the is 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 fg and then on 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 the css we just need to call at bed, 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 bed that id and then uh, um, uh, reproduce kind of kind of this right if you if you check the polygon points follow exact the same shape of the cup of coffee And b because I do like responsiveness, uh, these kind of shapes, they are very res per responsive. They work b beautifully on, on, on every browser, on every screen. And so y please use it. And, and, and then uh, the events uh, are restricted to exact the, the, uh, the clip property at uh, the points of the polygon we, we, we have. Yeah, and so of course we may we may we may need to uh, to to do uh, an overflow visible if you want on 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 some other ways, but but on clip pads, uh, 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 the content there uh, there outside uh, it will be never been shown. So, of course, building points on. Polygons and whatever could be uh, 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 an art task, and 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 it is. But uh, but for that uh, we have actually a couple of new tools and good tools to use it that will help us to 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 enhance the quality of of our work. Uh, the first one is this uh, this uh, this Chrome extension, the CSS Shapes Editor. That will help us to to uh, to create the, uh, the exact shape for the element we want, and another great tool by by Bennett Philly, the Clippy, uh, 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 let us draw standard shapes or custom sh shapes uh, directly here on on the on the browser. Then we cop copy the code and trace it on on whatever you we need. Finally, and and just to finish our landing page, uh, uh, I'll be having here another uh, um, that uh, am I uh, at that I'm using some uh, some of the properties that I uh, uh, that I've shown here. So, adding adding position properties and 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 transform properties. Uh, then some filtered effects, and then the a mix blend mode. We can create actually a very nice header for the for the learning page. I choose these this storefront from Apple, uh, uh, and and because I'm I'm an Apple fan, uh, I want to use the uh, the logo uh, on that. You can see this landing page working in my code pen. Uh, uh, you don't need to add to write the other uh, the, uh, the URL because I'll be I'll be sharing the slides uh, later on. Uh, so please go there and check another cool stuff that I add, uh, that I. Uh, that I had developed there, but but it's 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 not here on the presentation. CSS functions. CSS functions are used as a value for 
various CSS properties. And they give us lots of possibilities. But actually, I'm not here to talk to you about CSS functions. I'm here because the CSS is an amazing power and, and it has uh, uh, absolute properties that, that some of you will be amazed. Uh, may we call CSS a programming language? No? Or you art code engineers are now laughing inside of you? Yeah, probably yes. Uh, as a CSS enthusiast, I do believe that CSS is not a programming language, of course, uh, but it's not only uh, a styling language for our uh, markup, uh, because the CSS, it, 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 it has an, an amount of properties that, that, um, uh, that help us to build uh, uh, very, very, very nice things. In this example, for instance, uh, uh, on GitHub, you may not need GS, uh, and it has a full list of, of, of functionalities that we are used to, to, uh, to, uh, to use a, 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 a JavaScript, and, and this full list we can do only with HTML and CSS. Functionalities like accordions or toggles or carousels, a uh, model or and pop-ups, we just only need CSS. And another good selection by Una Kravitz, uh, uh, it's, it's, the, it's a CSS games, and, and again, only HTML and CSS. We, we have there the crossword, the tic-tac-toe, uh, the classic um, um, sweeper, only in CSS. And of course, the, the, uh, the, uh, the CSS 3D ad, ad transforms, we can do it directly on, on the browser uh, uh, without using uh, WebGL or whatever. Uh, we just need the property 3D. And one of the, uh, the, uh, the amazing things that I, that I, uh, that I, um, uh, uh, that I saw this, uh, this year, this amazing presentation by Tim Carey at uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's actually a search engine only in CSS. Of course, this is experimental, uh, ex experimental uh, 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 function uh, uh, because the CSS file, uh, uh, it it has around 8 megabytes, uh, so it's quite huge. Uh, but, uh, uh, but yeah, but, uh, but actually it's working, right? So, and this is the, uh, the amazing power of the CSS. Uh, uh, it's, of, of course, and again, we may not use this type of, of, of things in, 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 in production, but uh, but actually, we can do uh, very good stuff on on here without using JavaScript or what another programming language. So thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so feel free to shoot any any question. Anyone? Hi, Pedro. Thank you Hi. for your presentation. Um, I have a, an interesting question, which is some of the things that you presented are very bleeding edge. Others were there for, uh, for a longer time. Um, but for example, I, I work with, uh, with uh, clients that only have, for example, Chrome 35 or uh, stick with the Internet Explorer 11. Uh, is there any polyfill uh, framework for CSS? Yeah, uh, very good qu question, actually. Uh, as, as, as I told you in, in the beginning, 
in the beginning of the session, uh, um, I, I, I do not spend too much time on, 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 on checking the browser, can I use this property or, 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 or another, because the major properties that, uh, that I've shown here, uh, they are actually in, in, in experimental mode. So, uh, but, but, but that's not, uh, that's, uh, that's as, as, as I know so far, uh, as I know actually, uh, 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 there aren't too much uh, boilerplates and, and scripts to, to, uh, to support these new properties on, on, on older versions. Hey, Peter. Uh, awesome talk. Uh, I wanted to ask you if you have any thoughts on the future of CSS and um, also Houdini. Um, mainly that. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I'm 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 a big fan of Houdini. Uh, uh, I've I've been seeing I've been seeing uh, Houdini uh, growing on 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 on. On every stage of of of, of its process, um, and they are actually very 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 nice. I do truly believe that the CSS uh, 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 will be look 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 like, and 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 I and I, and I saw that on the presentation. Will be uh, if if we are the designers. I truly believe that CSS will give us the power to design the, directly on the browser. Uh, b because on 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 every release we do uh, at, the, at the CSS group do on on the browsers we see things amazing uh, happening and I truly believe that uh, that the future of the CSS is go going there to give more power to to the designers uh, uh, to uh, to build directly there. No? Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs>